Hey guys, so we are doing our Sometimes Thursday shop tour and sale. Um, for the last two weeks, it's been on Tuesday because we've had the holidays, but now we're back to our normal schedule. We're gonna try to start doing it around 9, 9.30 before the shop opens, just because the lighting is so much better this time of day. It's nice and bright. It's overcast right now, and it's still like nice and bright in here. You get much better, truer images of the items that we're trying to show you when we do during the day. So that's what we're trying for now. I'm gonna pull up comments in a minute. If you guys are new here, we like to go live once a week in the shop to tell you the things that we have, tell you, show, I, I mix the words, show you the things that we have for sale, some new displays that we have going on, um, and really just let you guys see what we're doing here at Jamie Ray Vintage. If you're local, you can get all of these items on sale in the shop, but you can also shop online at jamierayvintage.com, and I will be dropping links um, to the sale collection because we're gonna be talking about that one first. I gave Zeb a chore this morning. So I just inventoried all these shoes to make sure that they are correct. We have three styles that we're putting on sale. <clears throat> One style, two styles, but two separate colors on these ones. Excuse me. <coughs> I might need a drink this morning. <clears throat> these ones here, I'm, we're, so we wanna clear out the shoes. We have a ton of shoes and we don't really have room for them. So we're going to clear them out and then be very selective when we bring new shoes in to go with the clothing that we have. So watch for that, some new brands coming in. Hopefully we can get some deals. Jamie would love to carry Birkenstocks. My plan is <laughs> I actually want to carry some more high-end shoes that people know their sizing. It makes it easier for online sales. Um, and the kind of shoes where you just buy like one pair and it lasts you for like years and years and years. So we're gonna be clearing out some great deals. Basically, because there's free shipping on these, you're actually paying like four or five dollars for the pair of shoes and the rest is really in shipping. So we're just <laughs> passing on really great deals. These boots I love because they are nice and stiff and they hold their shape. I would say they're true to size, um, but there are no returns on the shipping, so or on the shoes. Just make sure you absolutely want them before you order them. Yep, and they, I inventoried them this morning, so everything is correct. Like what you see on the website is what we have. Yeah, I like these even better than Uggs. Don't tell Ugg, just because Uggs tend to get floppy, and these are just a really nice shape, and they don't get as floppy. And I like the fur line. They've lined. got the buckle on them. They've got a lot of good grip on the bottom. So these were originally $39.95. These are, what's the, the name of that one? So this is the faux fur lined boot. So regularly $39.95. We've marked them down to $19.95. Like I said, that's about five bucks for the shoe and the rest covers shipping um, because we're not charging shipping on them. And then we've got these uh, slouchy so the, ankle boots. Yes, so slouchy ankle booties is what these are called. And I picked these because we still have a little bit of winter left, even though we're trying to bring spring in. Um, but I picked these ones because we have actually a ton of open toed and flip flops up there that, you but know. These are great for transitional. <laughs> yeah. These are cute. They're, these are good with like, um, they're actually cute with leggings, cute with dresses, cute with slacks. I have, I actually have both of these in my arsenal of shoes at home. They were $35.95 and we're selling them for $18.95. We so you can find all of this stuff in the sale collection. If you don't want to look up the slouchy ankle booties, everything that's on sale goes in the sale collection until it sells out. Yeah. So, um, and we have those in two colors. These are not real leather. They're all man-made materials on these. Um, so just to show you up close. They got a nice zipper in the back. So that's a good one. A all right, we had a, a heel, question. I'd say an inch. Deborah says, does the stamp pad come with the stamp ink? No. stamp. The ink and the stamp pads are sold separately through IOD. Um, I know there is some ink that's on sale. Let's talk about the IOD sale. So IOD is retiring a ton of products. They did not give us a discount on these items. We are just marking them down for you guys so that way you can stock up on anything you have wanted before it goes away forever um, and before the new products come out. So it gives you a discount, but also helps us out to make room for the new IOD that's gonna be coming. There's um, a I bunch of stuff coming up in February, so, so we've, we've got to make room. Flexi stampers, if you have knob toppers and you do not own the flexi stamper, it's great. Plus, if you have any round stamps, this actually allows you to put the stamp on here and you can put it on a wooden knob and you can make your own knobs. And these are going to be discontinued and if you don't have one, I think these are definitely something that you want to get because it's really it makes it so easy to stamp the knobs. Even if it's like a stamp that fits inside here that's not exactly round, it just makes it easy because you just put it on top. Raise your hand if you're surprised. The grapes, <clears throat> the grapes are on sale. 
<laughs> the grapes are on sale. Shocking. I tried to tell the sisters that when they came out with the grapes. Um, also, there's still like, some fun things you can do with them, but for like furniture, grapes don't really go on a lot of what we do. Somebody used them. I can't remember what. They used them not as grapes, but for something else. Oh, so. they could be bubbles. The shoes are regular width, so not super narrow, but they're definitely not wide width. These boots are wider than the booties. Yeah. So the booties will fit any regular size foot, um, but the boots will accommodate a slightly wider fit. But I would say they're both regular. My feet are neither narrow nor wide, and they fit well in both of these shoes. All right, so some more IOD. This is a good one. I love the swoosh. This is the swoosh step. You can basically make it say cursives. Um, they all flow together really nicely. And there's way more on sale than we're going to show you. We don't have an hour to show yeah. <laughs> all the IOD. They have, they have like the 30 items on, on clearance that they're discontinuing and we're just selling them at a We could price save them that. because like in a few years they're going to be worth like tons of money. People sell them on the IOD black market, but we're not about that. Um, this is the marble, which I actually like for doing like countertops. And we did a um, the top of a like a nightstand once mm -hmm. with the marble. This is a really good one. They do have the set of four now, but I prefer this. This is big because it fits. Yeah, it just like covers a lot of space when you're doing a countertop. You want the big marble stamp. Um, birds and branches. This brings back. We that have has been, been around a long time. We have been selling this since we didn't have a shop. We used to ship out of um, the, bedroom. the spare bedroom at our house. Um, and it was the, one of the first I items have... that we ever bought uh, for a Black Friday sale with IOD. There's years a video ago. of Jack and I making over a, an Ikea stool with the birds and branches. Yeah, this is a really And great... he's a little guy, like he's probably four. <laughs> I actually like this one. It's not super detailed if you want to use paint. So use a brayer and put paint on it mm -hmm. because it looks like hand painted. Hey, designer roadkill. She's, I love your name. She says, I love catching y'all live. Any Christmas IOD? Um, no, we are not marking down Christmas So IOD. the Christmas stuff, typically, if we even still have it by this time of year, um, is usually sold out, but yeah. we, we hold IOD, it for we, next year. The Christmas we IOD we currently have, we only have because we paid extra money to have it shipped down from Canada, and so I'm probably gonna hold, that, hold on to that until the rest of my life, <laughs> um, until it sells, because we had to pay a premium to get it down here. But yeah, that usually sells pretty fast. All right, this is the uh, shoot the sea seashore. This one is really great seashore. if you love coastal design. I'm actually hoping that eventually they come out with more coastal design because this is a good one, super detailed stamp set, um, and you can use it for making your own decor because a it's lot a of people want to do set. like Christmas coastal, and that's hard to find. So it's nice to combine that with the Christmas and create your own look. Denise says that the Birds and Branches was the first IOD that she ever ordered. So this is the block type. They have like pre-made words and all kinds of old styles of fonts and cursive. We use this for our potato box, remember that? Yep. Anybody watch when we made that potato box? We use this one um, to stamp on that. That actually sold, that was a fun craft. That We sold that pretty fast. I hand drew a potato on <laughs> Pavo, we did that tapestry with this one. I actually Long loved that ago. tapestry quite a bit and we was just on a we stamped this on drop cloth very like she she upscale I love Pavo I actually think it'd be pretty to do a relief image and like do plaster and put Pavo in there with like a dark glaze I think that would be really elegant so this one is a little bit of shocker I'm a, I'm a little sad about it but I think they're tired of seeing the lemons lemons everywhere but this one was so great. I mean, you could use it all over the place. Yeah, it just looks good on a variety of things. I love the lemons. Furniture, decor. Uh, ladies in waiting. Oops. You have two. Ladies in waiting. That's all. Big always florals. This one is four separate sheets that I feel like if you show them the back can be used independently for uh, different projects, which I really love. Um, also, all of our IOD as long as you spend over $10 and you're in the 48 contiguous states, is free shipping. So it's on sale and free shipping. So also the um, anything that we're gonna show you that's free shipping, just know you have to spend $10 at least to get it, but yeah, free shipping on that. Hello, Corey. And then the Jude Ode to Henry Fletcher. We love this one too, just cause it's got the big fun floral. We it use may it or may not have a cherub with body parts exposed. Well, every time we've ever used it, we just use a little bit of transfer to 
And then they've got the chippy paint stamp. And then this one is also one of my favorites that's Back being retired. Is good. Back plates. Um, so we use this behind uh, knobs. Behind knobs and things. It's kind of an idea of what you're going for. But we have these, we have a lot more IOD chippy. that's on sale. So the way you use chippy paint is you is you take like a base color and then you put a top color over the top of it, you distress so the base color comes through like all along the edges. And then whatever you did your base color in on your furniture, you gray onto the chippy paint and then you can actually make chippy paint without having to use milk paint. So this is a really fun one if you're like anal retentive it's and you really only want the chippy finishing. where you want it. Like this allows complete control of that chippy finish. And they have a bunch more. Um, these are wall supplies last. Once we're out of these, um, IODs retired them, so they're not coming back. Yeah, so we're giving you 15% off plus free shipping. It's in the sale collection. I'm gonna drop the sale collection link again. Um, if you do not get free shipping because you're out of the 48 states or you're out of the country, you can still shop the deal. And so maybe that'll kind of cover, especially if you're like in another country and you want to get the deal, it kind of offsets some of the shipping charges. So it's a good time to buy. All right, so we have, we didn't even have pricing on these yet. Um, I have the pricing, I can pull it up right here. So, we found so these. We found these, these, these are like a found special, um, but they are brand new and they're, uh, they're resin with like a plaster over the top. So they do get a little... Uh, they're kind of chippy. This one is chippy. less chippy. Yeah. Um, and so these originally would have sold for $29.95 is the price. And we only have Oops. one of the hen and the chicks and we're selling it for $13.95 for that um, hen and the chicks. And then we have five of these roosters. The roosters are good. They have chippy crackle paint all over them. And they're just a great neutral design. You know that we love roosters. We would probably sell this if we painted it and we thrifted it for way more, but these retail for $34.95. You could get um, both. They're actually about the right sizes. Yeah, they kind of go together. This one, um, was $34.95 from the manufacturer and we are selling them for, I think it's $14.95? Let me double check. Um, doo -doo -doo. Yes, $14.95 for this one and we have five of them. So the limited quantities, these are not something that we'll be able to order again. It, we just found them and I got such a great deal on them, I wanted to include them in the sale this week. So fun, fun on those. Um, we did get more of the double hotel hooks but we only have two left, so I wanted you guys to know these were regularly $7.95 and they're $5.95 right now. They do not come with screws. So I just want you to know that we had somebody that asked about that and the listing says it, but I think that somehow it got missed. Yeah, they don't so have screws. So five ninety five, they, they, they don't have screws, but these are the ones that we use at our house and we have two left if you're wanting. These are also in the sale collection. I might be able to order more and if I can, I will. All right, and then we have I don't think the basket is on special, but it's holding the sample dish soap. So if you've been wanting a sample, we have the samples. So we have this dish soap handmade by and our apothecary. Can you see the sheep in there? Same uh, gal that makes all of our skincare line, solid dish soap. Okay, we're back. And we've been having people ask for sample sizes. They're free shipping if you spend over $10. And they're $6.95 each for two ounces. So it's a great way to try. If you like it, then you can get our bigger um, dish soap that's in a container. And they have the cutest little uh, baby doll sheep imprinted into them. They have our JRB sheep logo in them. And so that's kind of fun. So we've got like 24 of these. And if people like the sample size, we can try to get more. All right, I think we've shown. So that's all the sale items. Now let's go look and see what's new around the shop. I wanted to show them over here with all the thrifted like pottery and baskets and things. And we might have a few, like there's a few more items in the sale collection, just check mm -hmm. it out because things that are from previous weeks that haven't sold out are still on there. We try to, and if you're looking for something that was on sale and it's gone, it just means that it's sold out. Yep. All right, let's go on a walkabout. I'll try not to shake you around too much, but I can't make huge promises. All right, so we're gonna come over here. So this is front of the shop. Let me straighten this up so I can show you better. Okay, so front of the shop, and then we have our, our spring and Valentine's display. And then right here on the other side of this is a lot of our thrifted pottery and cups and salt and pepper shakers and vases, pitchers, things like that. We've sold a ton of it, so I reorganized it. And then I put, we sold the other bag, but we still have the wildflower bag. 
It's $22.95, um, and I put it here with our cute little aprons. I think I need to order some more aprons because we're running. We are pretty low pretty on Pretty low on aprons. I did redo this display too. I put oh. all of our fun tin ribbon. It's $12.95, people love this. We ordered product. enough last time that we didn't sell out immediately. That's like <laughs> the first time that's ever happened. Um, and then this is, this is a lot of the, this is what's left from England, the crockery that we got. We had probably 100 pieces. Easily. And now we've got what looks like about 15. <laughs> and that's all that's left. And that was from end of October, November is when we got home. Um, and so it's all sold pretty quickly. We're hoping to make another trip to England with Odelia this summer. But let me find the... Um... These Didn't we thrift these baskets or did you order these? We thrifted those. We just happen to have some similar ones. This one is a little smaller than this one, and then these two are the same style. Let me see if I can get you a price. Oh. All right, so set of two, two of two. Here's the price. So these are sold together. They're $38.95 for these baskets, and they're basically like new. We thrifted them, but they're in really great condition. Sorry, I'm just dropping them. Phone is not cooperating. You're finding all the links for everybody? I'm trying to find the links. Okay. Um, we did sell, do you guys remember our green dresser? The one that was so pretty, look what's sold. So green I need, dresser's gone. I need votes. Um, what color do you want to see us use next? Because we need to paint two pieces this week. We need a new piece for here, and we need a new piece for here because we put this here, but it's too small, this be in barn. I need a bigger like piece to take up this space. If you watch the Waste on Wednesday, but you didn't catch um, when we showed it, I think we showed it in a Saturday night. Um, oh, called, I was gonna bring that barn. stool. Oh yeah, the stool's not here. The be in barn little table turned out great. I think because of the thin legs that it's not gonna ship well, like if we yeah, box this up. this is not up. on the website, but so I need this to is, this is a there. local only, but you can get the paper um, we saw that uh, on the website, jamierayvintage.com. And let me pull this lamp off of here so you can see the whole thing. It just turned out really great on this little end table. I can even spell thrift to save my life. You know what I'm noticing is I need to start getting more silver. Where... No, it's all right there. Oh, you hit it. I was like, where'd all the silver go? Jamie's got it up all over right here, all together. So we do have a bunch of tarnished silver. Most of this is silver plate. None of it's, I don't think any of it's like solid silver, but it can, if you like a shinier silver, you can polish it up pretty good. Uh, JMJ says to do French millinery. That would be pretty. We gotta, we've gotta get some spring colors in here, so we might do that. Um, but we've, we've gotta get two pieces painted this week. Because we've yeah. been selling a ton of furniture. And then this big clock, the Howard Miller clock, it does keep time. Um, right now it's, it's a little bit fast. I need to reset that. <laughs> so Heidi it's, says paint black. She says, I want to paint a shiny laminate dresser black. How does that look? Um, if you're wanting to paint shiny laminate, make sure you order Salvation Solution. We have it on our website. It's a primer and it will help your paint stick because laminate is notorious for not sticking very well with paint. So definitely use Salvation Solution first and then paint black over the top. And then when I do black, I either seal it with black wax or I take my big top and put a little bit of black paint in the big top and use that to seal it and it helps keep it a true black black. That is my best advice for painting black furniture. So <clears throat> the reason that's wrong is because it's it's about right, I think. No, we just didn't set it's it. It's 954, right. it, it needs reset. I don't think it ever had the right time on there, but it does, but chime, it does chime and it lets us know. It surprises me because I'm not in here often enough to hear it chime. I'm like, why is it chiming? We've got some of our, um, we just don't have a few of these left. We've sold almost all of our We can take you up front and show you the stuff. other mannequin. So this is, and the, this one, what's, what's the title of this one? Where's the tag? I don't know. It's all crooked on her. Is she not even tagged? Maybe not. I don't know. It should be in the thrift haul collection because we, we did thrift the shirt. We thrifted the shirt, but we used our I love you stencil and bleached it and turned out super cute. And then we sold our I love you shirt up front, so I had to put another We had one. to redo this mannequin, but this one was on the back, so Jamie turned the mannequin around. Tell me if you like this. I need your opinions, guys. So this one, the I love you, is on the back. So I was like, how do I display this? And I happen to be wearing the same sweater. Um, I tied this cute sweater around the waist and then put the I love you, so that way they could see where the design was. Because before, 
it was the other way with the sweater on and you couldn't see that which i think is okay that one this ended up small. almost tie-dyed looking yeah this one's fine it's 19.95 this is um fairly yeah this is made well so if anybody knows clothing made well is very expensive we thrifted this shirt for a couple bucks and then we did this bleach design on it and we're selling it for 19.95 in the shop all right i think we showed the rest of this pretty recently that's all we've got new for today um, we're going to be working on that upstairs area on the stage and redoing that with the new clothing that we're going to be bringing in for spring and hopefully some new shoe brands that are more well known um, we, we got to try to strike some deals up with them a lot of manufacturers are still not taking oh, new retailers so we've been struggling i don't know if you can tell oh, the enamel display yeah so if you just search enamel at jamierayvintage.com all of this will pop up but i reorganized it do you like that stuff i kind did spread it you, out you color coordinated it a little bit a little bit we've got a lot of the blue speckled down here and then i did pots up here because spring is coming these pots were over on the other side these are just these are terracotta pot hand it says hand lainted i misspelled it they're 12.95 but we put iod on these ones and they're super cute but i know that a lot of people are looking for pots for spring so i just put like all the pots that we have these are what we have left over of these ones these are really popular the distressed clay pots are these still in the sale collection those have sold down quite a bit yes we do have quite a few rolling pins so if you wanted a rolling pin yeah remember there was like this giant pile before these are in the sale collection as well so they're currently on sale so don't miss out on that one um and i wish i could find more of these this is our last copper blue pot look how pretty can you guys see how pretty that is it's all tarnished up it's all tarnished and good but yeah so lots of fun stuff in here definitely check out the sale collection if you see anything and you cannot find it comment and let me know and i am happy to look it up for you and see if we can find links pricing. we can hope it's shown everybody, I'm showing, loves, everybody loves seeing the ceiling um, and if you guys want to share this out that's super helpful for us too again um we have more shop tours so if you want to see more of the shop if you just scroll back a little bit hopefully by next week we will have more spring and floral in our thrift haul this week is going to be good yeah we got a, well we went thrifting and then we went to another store and we basically have two thrift hauls in one it's so much stuff we we got good stuff at both stores well our hand painted stuff is actually selling really quick online we i painted a bunch of stuff if you guys saw my reel i had a short video that i made and let me show you the only thing that hasn't sold is one template. so of everything that we, i just did for that video this is the only thing it's 13.95 and i painted this in crinoline but everything else sold and crinoline has been a good seller for us like yeah, it's like a warm we've been painting with color. it a lot and it's been going quick well we did we also used queen bee i'm sorry i forgot to bring that but if you scroll back through my facebook page i have pictures of the queen bee um stool oh, that we did yeah it was yesterday's waste not wednesday it's in the comment section of that video but yeah it turned out really good so i'm going to bring bringing in some more fun screen colors if you have questions about your projects comment below if you can't find something that you want to buy, comment below, and we will see you on the next video. Oh, side note, we've got a new project going. We're doing some homestead videos and incorporating a lot of the recipes that we've been doing. Um, we got the first video in Zep. Yeah, it's up on YouTube, and then we're going to be sharing the homestead, some of the videos here on our Facebook page. Not all page. of them, though, so Not you want to follow them. the other one if you want all the recipes and things. Um, but definitely look up Jamie and Zeb on YouTube and subscribe to that channel if you can't find it. Let us know. All right, guys, we will see you um, in our edited video probably tomorrow. We'll have one up, and then on the Saturday thrift haul. All right, we'll Love catch you, guys. you tomorrow. Thanks. Or Saturday or whenever. Soon.